have got a lot more to teach you all about this appeals modernization process, but high notes, and then we'll take some questions until I get cut off. So the high notes are this, two types of claims, initial and supplemental. Initial has never been claimed before. Supplemental is if you've claimed it before. If you file a supplemental claim, you got to have new and relevant evidence with it, and you got to submit it with the claim uh, or else it's going to be denied. Once the VA gets a fully complete claim, it triggers the duty to assist. Their duty to assist and their duty to notify is very narrow, but at the very least, they're going to help you develop the claim that's been filed, uh, and they're going to give you notice of a decision. That decision is supposed to contain eight specific distinct things, and it rarely does. Once you get that decision, you've got three choices of appeal routes. You can go higher level review, you can go direct appeal to the board, or you can go supplemental claim. Your supplemental claim, you have to have new and relevant evidence, and you got to do it within one year of the ratings decision to keep your original effective date. You can always file a supplemental claim after that one year, but you got to show new and relevant, and the date of the supplemental claim will be the effective date of the claim, unless we have an effective date rule that challenges that. So, higher level review, you can request it within one year of the ratings decision. It goes to a senior rater, possibly um, at the same office, maybe at a different office. We don't know. They're only looking at the evidence in the record at the time of the file. Um, they can't make a change uh, based on opinion uh, alone that makes the decision worse, but they can make a change that makes it better uh, based on change in opinion alone. So um, higher level review is going to be a real quick, down and dirty, real. It's got to be a clear, factual error, in my opinion, uh, before you really want to give credence to the higher level review path. Uh, and then board hearing, you've got three lanes. You can choose the direct appeal, no evidence, no hearing lane. You can choose the hearing lane or you can choose the evidence lane. And that all depends on the time that you want to submit your evidence. And that's going to be real claim specific. Once the board makes a decision, you can file a new supplemental claim. As long as you've got new and relevant evidence, you can appeal to the Veterans Court or you can do both. I recommend both, right? Because you can fix the error in the board decision at the same time you're starting up your claim. That way, if something goes wrong at the court or if something, you know, they, the board actually got it right, you've got that claim down below pending. So I recommend both for now. And we'll see that may change down the road. Once the Veterans Court issues its mandate, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, once the Veterans Court issues a decision, you have um, an opportunity to submit a supplemental claim with new and relevant evidence as well. More on that later. Jungle.